welcome friends once again another episode of trigonometric ratios uh, in this video we'll be learning about the trigonometric ratios especially of uh, 30 degree right and 60 degree okay so now before going we must have to draw a triangle right but every time we used to draw a right angle triangle uh, but this time I'm going I'm, I'm going to draw a equilateral triangle right this is the first time in trigonometry I'm going to uh, make a equilateral triangle so keep it in mind okay suppose oh it's not good right uh, like this suppose this is an equilateral triangle right right this is an equilateral triangle uh, this is a this is B right and this is C right so all sides are equal and let me give uh, the value for this all side this is a right and this side is also a since these all are the equilateral triangles so all sides are equal and this must be also a right since it's a equilateral triangle so this side should be 60 degree this should be also 60 degree right this should be also 60 degree right <coughs> So what I'm going to do mm, now is I'm just going to draw a perpendicular here like this Right, I'm just going to draw a perpendicular line And this is this is a perpendicular line you can see right. I'm just going to draw Right, so this is perpendicular here now just see in this triangle and just in this triangle Okay, so in this both triangle what you're seeing see this side is equals to this side right and this is 60 degree this is 60 degree and this is right what it will be just I'm going to just draw a perpendicular right and <coughs> now see here yeah, this is 90 degree this is also 90 degree so what we're seeing this is this is right angle right hypotenuse and side so right angle right angle hypotenuse hypotenuse it means both are equal right and this is common that is why this triangle is popping it means uh, congruent to this triangle it means triangle a b suppose let me give this m okay <coughs> this is m is congruent to triangle a m c right it means this triangle and this triangle are congruent right so this is also a right uh, now it will be the half of this it means this angle and this angle should be equals right suppose this is x and this is x then x plus x should be equals to 60 degree so 2x equals to 60 degree therefore x will be 60 upon 2 that is 30 degree means each angle should be how much it should be 30 degree right so this angle is of 30 degree right <coughs> only this much okay this whole is 60 and this half is only and this should be also 30 degree right so now uh, we are going to calculate all the values but first we should know to uh, we should have means uh, we should know the value of this side this side right this side and only this much what is the value of this and this right so let's calculate this am what is the value of am and this so how can we calculate this just think this is a and this is a since both are equal it will be half of a this will be also half of a right and again from Pythagoras theorem this is a right angle triangle means a m c is a right angle triangle right see uh, you just observe in this in this red circle okay red triangle right this is 60 degree right just observe in this uh, triangle what you're seeing this is a this is a by 2 and what is the value of am so in this right angle triangle from Pythagoras theorem what it will be it will be that ab square will be equals to am square right plus bm square right from Pythagoras theorem so ab square that's a square am square we don't know am square right and we know the bm value that's a by 2 so it will be a by 2 whole square 
or a m square will be this will go this side right this side so a square minus a upon 2 a square that is a square and 2 square that is 4 so LCM of this uh, means there is nothing then there is 1 right so 4 so 1 4 that it means 4 square 1 is dividing this 4 so we're getting 4 a square minus 4 again it is dividing 4 so it will be getting uh, we'll get only 1 so that's why 1 we don't write even right that's 1 a square or this is a square okay a m square will be equals to 3 a square 4 therefore a m is equals to whole root over 3 a square upon 4 and see this is a squared so a will come and this is 4 that is also we can also write that's 2 square right but we will not write okay so 2 will come outside and only 3 will be inside right this is the value of am right we got the value of am and uh, the value of am is root over 3 by 2 right uh, you are not understanding I think I, I have to make another triangle right let me make over here another triangle just like this right this is a m and this was uh, from here we can see this is b right a m b I'm just drawing and this is b this is a by 2 this is a and we just got this is a upon 2 but root over 3 and this is 60 degree and this is 30 degree okay so now we are going to find out the values right we got all the values in this triangle so let's first find out <coughs> the ratios of 30 degrees okay so uh, the first one <coughs> let's find out sine 30 what is the value of sine 30 so value of sine 30 will be always perpendicular upon hypotenuse right what is the perpendicular here we are finding out this right our reference angle is 30 degree so uh, just opposite of the reference angle is always perpendicular it means this is perpendicular here right and the angle the side in which the angle seat it is seated in the a m side so base will be this one right and the largest part is always hypotenuse so this side will be hypotenuse so p upon h what is the value of p that's a by 2 a by 2 whole upon h h is always a yeah you see here a so a upon 2a so a and a will cancel this will be 1 right so 1 upon 2 so value of sine 30 is 1 by 2 right great now uh, let's do another one uh, cos 30 right what is the value of cos 30 again we know the ratio of cos 30 is base upon hypotenuse what's the value of by base let's go here this is the base since the angle is seated in this side so base is 1 upon 2 it's root 3 okay from here we just find out this so a root 3 upon 2 whole upon hypotenuse that's a right and we'll get a root 3 upon 2a again this a and this a will cancel out so we'll get the value root 3 upon 2 so value of sine third cos 30 is root 3 by 2 right let's go for tan 30 what will be the value of tan 30 right so value of tan 30 is we know always perpendicular upon base this is the ratio right so perpendicular upon base so perpendicular is here right this exactly this opposite of this that is bm that is a by 2 whole upon b base that's base is a root 3 upon 2 again a upon 2 multiply 2 upon a root 3 right because this will go upside and this will come down downstairs right we may have uh, learned this previously a upon b whole upon c upon d is always equals uh, is equals to is equals to as we have learned previously that is a upon b multiply this is a d okay so d upon c we have learned this previously so according to the same formula this is c okay 
we are getting this so now what can I cut this we can cut this 2 and 2 a and a will be cut it now I'm getting 1 upon root 3 so 1030 will be equals to 1 upon root 3 right so now we can easily find out the value of the rest uh, 3 uh, uh, trigonometric ratios right sin 30 just opposite of sin 30 is cosec 30 cosec 30 it will be just opposite of this right uh, two, uh, 1 upon 2 so it will be equals to 2 right just opposite this right again opposite of cos 30 is sec 30 right so sec 30 will be just opposite of this that will be root 3 upon 2 it means 2 upon root 3 and another uh, just opposite of tan 30 that is cot 30 cot 30 degree so cot 30 will be equals to right exactly opposite of this it means root 3 upon 1 that is root 3 uh, you know uh, we have already uh, learned uh, why it is opposite right if you proceed like this um, cos 30 that's h upon p and h is how much here hypotenuse is 2a uh, it's a right here hypotenuse is a and perpendicular is a upon 2 right as you can see here see hypotenuse this hypotenuse is a and perpendicular is a upon 2 so if you uh, you can cut this now a and this a so 2 will go upside so it will be equals to 2 right like this if you do sec 30 that's h upon b you will get the same value and this cot 30 that is b upon p if you do you will get the same value right so what we have learned now is uh, let me do with another color that, uh, that will be more better right uh, okay fine so sine 30 is equals to 1 upon 2 cos 30 is equals to uh, we just got here root 3 upon 2 right this root 3 upon 2 and tan 30 is equals to uh, root 1 upon root 3 right we just got here yeah tan 30 is 1 upon root 3 right another cosec 30 we get just cosec 30 just opposite of sin 30 that is 1 upon uh, 2 so it will be 2 right yeah cosec 30 is 2 and again opposite of cos 30 that is sec 30 is 2 upon root 3 and cot 30 will be just opposite of this that is root 3 upon 1 so we will not write this one only root 3 so these are the trigonometric ratios of sin 30 right now we are finding out the values of uh, cos 60 okay so let me continue in another video because due to the youtube uh, foundation i have to just quit it within this 10 minutes okay okay fine thank you thank you for watching uh watch the next video about the